with all of the drama that's been surrounding me, I've been doing some self-reflection and I definitely owe an apology. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is designed for anybody who wants to improve their mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, during this whole self-reflection period, uh, I've been looking back at some of my old content as well as looking forward with the new content that I've been making. I hope you guys have all enjoyed that. But looking back at it, I've seen some videos here and there where I definitely screwed up. And there was one in particular that I made a few months ago and I wanna address that now. So a few months ago, um, Gabby Hanna went on iNabber's channel and he interviewed her. And this was during the whole Kenza Cosmetics scandal thing. For those of you who don't know about that, what happened was Gabby Hanna, as well as Tana Mojo, um, they promoted Kenza Cosmetics and you know, it was, it was free shipping. No, 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 no. The brushes were free and all you had to pay for was shipping. And it turned into this big ordeal because a lot of people bought those brushes. They were promoted at like an $80 value and they really weren't. But not only that, but some people were paying more for shipping and some people weren't even getting their brushes. And Kenza Cosmetics didn't really do anything about it until the backlash happened. But caught in the middle of all this was Gabby Hanna because she was an influencer promoting this to her audience. And anyways, Gabby Hanna ended up making a video addressing this and a lot of people weren't too happy about that. All right, so anyways, I never reached out to her to see if she wanted to do an interview and clear the air, which she did do. And still to this day, I will say that um, Frazier, AKA iNabber did an excellent job. One of the best interviews I've seen on this platform and I wish he would do more of them because he, he nailed it. But anyways, the first thing um, I wanna address is I made a video after that video, kind of breaking it down and discussing it. And one of the things that I talked about is you know, uh, Gabby Hanna's, you know, apology and her remorse for it. And oh my God, like looking back at that, like this whole experience has made me so much more empathetic to other creators. And like, I'm sitting there and looking at that and like critiquing her apology and critiquing her, you know, level of remorse. And I look at that, I'm like, Jesus, Chris, like who the f are you? to critique this woman's apology because something I've definitely learned through this experience is that you're never going to appease everybody. You just won't, especially on this platform. Like I come from a 12 step background where you make amends wherever possible, but it's direct amends to those people. And some people accept it, some people don't. But when you're making a public apology to thousands and thousands and thousands, um, if not millions in Gabby Hanna's case, there's obviously gonna people be like, larger groups of people who accept it and larger groups of people who don't. But what I've realized looking back on this situation is there's no right way to do it. There's no right way to do it. People will pick it apart. Like remember when they did the surgery on the grape and how tiny it was? Like people will look for just one word, one thing that you said. So like that's just a whole different interesting subject about YouTubers and apology videos and how we as people pick them apart and just try to analyze whether or not this person is actually remorseful. So for that, Gabby Hanna, I am truly sorry. But anyways, I was inspired to make this particular video because the other day on one of my videos, I got a comment, which I'll put up on the screen right here, and it asked me, it asked me, it says, Chris, like, what are your thoughts on you discussing Gabby Hanna's avoidance and not watching videos about her now that you've been through this? Like, are you watching videos about you? And I wanted to address that. So those of you who don't know, when I made um, the video about the interview between Gabby and iNabber, I discussed how Gabby talked about avoidance, right? And how she doesn't watch any videos about herself. She talked about how she like removes, you know, the videos from, uh, you know, YouTube, like not from YouTube, but from her specific YouTube account. Because those of you who know, who are, you know, wondering why I keep popping up in your feed, like you have to tell YouTube, I do not want to watch this. So Gabby Hanna talked about how she keeps doing that. It's not watching the, uh, the critique videos about her. And she also mentioned hate videos, which a lot of people got pretty riled up about. But 
Anyways, I was talking about how um, avoidance is not necessarily a good thing, and a lot of you asked me to make a follow-up video about avoidance. Now, I still stand by the fact that avoidance in many situations is a bad thing, but looking at my own situation and going through it, like avoidance is definitely something that we need to do when we are working on our mental health. And something that I've learned is that I've had to avoid things until my mental state got into a better place. Like I actually hired my editor, Zach, to go through my YouTube comment sections uh, the first week that I was back to just go through all the hate comments, remove, block, do whatever he had to do, right? I told him to leave in the critiques, but if it was blatant hate, get rid of that person, you know? And that's something I'll make a video about in the future and how I kind of determine that because you know, something I mentioned about Gabby Hanna is we need criticism. We need to know where we screwed up. We need to know where we can learn, where we can grow and things like that. And like something I never want to do in my life is stay stagnant or just think I'm the best, you know, at anything that I do. There's always room to grow. But one of the things that's difficult as a creator is when so much stuff is coming in, it's kind of hard to separate the critiques from the hate when you're getting bombarded with it. So in my case, when all of this drama started going crazy, like I'll be honest with you right now, I did not watch any of those videos. Like if you're a creator who made a video about me, I did not watch it. Well, actually, hold on. Full transparency, um, when Ryan from uh, Crimson Films was in town, he, <laughs> he suckered me into watching one video about me, which I did, and it was exactly what I expected. So I actually made a video about this. I made a video about this. It was um, about uh, Angelica Oles, but it was about the commentary community as a whole, as well as crowd psychology. And what happens is when there's a hot topic, every single commentator and drama channel hops on it, and it's all a bunch of just repeating the same things. So when Ryan was in town and he had me watch this video, it was exactly what I expected. It was exactly what I expected. It was people using clips of me out of context, telling me who I really am. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I'm not watching those videos and I still won't watch those videos. Like as many videos that come out about me in the future, I'm not going to watch them. And now you're probably asking yourself, but Chris, if you didn't watch the videos, how do you know if they're a critique or if they're a hate video? Well, let me tell you, let me tell you this. When you get caught in the middle of a controversy, don't worry, you don't need to watch the videos, all right? My phone, was constantly blowing up every time a video was released about me where friends, other creators, and everything like that are either texting me or DMing me to tell me everything that's going on. And it was everything that I thought was happening. And and like I said, like I'm not gonna sit down watching all these videos telling me who I really am, telling me what my what my morals are, what my values are, what my intentions are. You know what I mean? It's already bad enough that, you know, they're influencing thousands if not millions of people, but I don't need to watch those. But when it comes to avoidance, like for that, Gabby, I am sorry because now I truly understand that avoidance. Now what I'm doing for my own personal mental health, and if any of you struggle with avoidance, like I said, there are certain things that you shouldn't avoid, certain things that you should when you're in a certain mental state. I am easing my way back into it, okay? Some of you have noticed I've been a little bit more active in the comment sections and things like that, trying to get re-engaged with, you know, my community, my community, the people who are here to work on their mental health and want to improve their mental and emotional well-being. For the people who come here knowing damn well that I am not a licensed professional, I am undereducated, unqualified, but I have had my own mental health journey and there are some things that I discussed that might be able to help some of those people out. So if you're one of those people, that is for you and I am trying to engage with you in the comment section. And as this gets better and as I progress through my own mental health journey, it's becoming easier to, to talk with all of you. And don't get me wrong, there are still um, hate comments coming in regularly, but not nearly as much. This video right here might have sparked it up again, but hey, we'll have to wait and see. But I understand now that there's a certain resilience that you have to build up. But again, this whole experience has made me just so much more empathetic to creators. And I plan on making more videos in the future with 
public apologies to creators because now I get it. Now I understand. And still, I was only at 100,000. Was at 100,000. Now it's kind of right? But some of these creators who are getting bombarded, they have millions, millions of subscribers. So I was only barely put through it compared to what they were put through. You know what I mean? But anyways, anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support the channel and get involved in our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.